speaking from the NCDC, we have had the, and we have the resources from government um, and with support of other partners that are typically involved to respond to um, cholera outbreaks where they are. Obviously, um, within states, um, I cannot speak for um, if they've had to rearrange their priorities in terms of COVID um, versus cholera, for example. But the cholera, speaking about cholera specifically, the problem with cholera is not related to the pandemic. Okay, the problem with cholera is mostly um, the uh, absence of what would have been long-term and sustained investment in water, sanitation, and hygiene. And we have been on this cholera matter for a while. I mean, we did try to put a bit of focus on it, but it would seem that the news of it, I mean, especially of deaths, petted out. Uh, it, it was, was it that it just died down, or was there some response, or is this a resurgence? What precisely are we facing with cholera? Well, the um, cholera has um, um, broken out in different states at different times. Some have had a really short outbreak, some have had a protracted outbreak. Um, some of that is also related to the season. So, so what are you dealing with now? Is it a protracted outbreak or are are these we, fresh outbreaks? We are dealing with some extended outbreaks and we are dealing with some fresh outbreaks. There is some connection between this and the rainy season, for example. So when you've got the rains and um, areas with open defecation and normal water sources are then flooded by um, rainwater and mix, and then you have a problem. Uh, obviously, when the rain stops and that mixing stops, then you have a diminution in cases over time. Um, so we, that's contributed to a reduction in cases, uh, but in some places where maybe the seasonal element is not too much of the uh, responsible, or indeed the seasons are different across the country, um, we have new outbreaks and we have protracted outbreaks, and we are responding to that. Sadly, um, cholera has actually killed more people um, than COVID so far. How many cases do we have now? Have uh, we, how many fatalities have we recorded? We, we, we have, we have um, had, I think, uh, a little over three, um, 3,600 um, deaths, unfortunate Nigerians from 3, cholera. 3,600 yes. deaths? Plus. To cholera? Yes. From what period to what period? Um, for, this period for the period of the year um, on that review. So from uh, the beginning of the year to date. What has been the response of subnationals who also have responsibility on health matters? Well, the response, um, our response are in support of, of states, local governments and areas where um, there have been these outbreaks. This is in conjunction with the local authorities. So the state epidemiologists, the commissioners for health uh, and state governments are involved in that response. Um, and we provide support, obviously. Um, and uh, we collaboratively implement all the action plans that are necessary. Um, what we have said and will continue to say to um, the authorities is that if we want to see a different picture next year, the investment in water, sanitation and hygiene should start now. It's a low-hanging fruit that will um, provide um, immense benefit and return um, in a very short period. So if you sort out portable water now, then you can be sure that the areas where we've had large outbreaks will not have cholera next year.